Imagine the sky going dark in the middle of the day, the sun disappearing behind the moon, casting an eerie twilight across the land. A total solar eclipse is one of nature's most spectacular and rare sights. On April 8, 2024, a historic total solar eclipse will sweep across North America, plunging parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada into daytime darkness. This extraordinary celestial event has astronomy enthusiasts buzzing with excitement, but it also has experts issuing critical safety warnings. In this facts-packed video, we'll explore why there are so many precautions surrounding the 2024 eclipse and what you need to know to view it safely. We'll discuss how this eclipse differs from the memorable 2017 eclipse that captivated millions. And for those new to eclipse chasing, we'll cover the basics of what causes a solar eclipse. So stick around as we share essential tips to help you get the most out of this unforgettable experience, whether you plan to travel into the path of totality or catch a partial eclipse from your own backyard. The 2024 total solar eclipse is one celestial show you won't want to miss. The Great North American Eclipse of 2024. On April 8, 2024, a spectacular celestial event will grace the skies over North America. A total solar eclipse, often referred to as the Great North American Eclipse, will cast its ominous shadow across the continent momentarily turning day into night along its path. This awe-inspiring phenomenon occurs when the moon perfectly aligns between the earth and the sun, completely blocking the sun's light and creating an ethereal twilight. The eclipse's journey will begin in Mexico at approximately 11.07 a.m. PDT, making its first landfall on the Pacific coast. As the moon's shadow traverses the country, it will cross into Texas around 1.27 p.m. CDT. From there, the path of totality, the narrow strip of land where the sun will be entirely obscured, will cut a swath through the heart of the United States. States fortunate enough to fall within this path include Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio. Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. As the eclipse makes its way across the continent, the duration of totality will vary depending on location. Skywatchers in Nazas, Durango, Mexico, and Kerrville and Fredericksburg, Texas will be treated to an impressive 4 minutes and 26 seconds of total darkness. While the entire North American continent will experience at least a partial solar eclipse, only those positioned within the 100 to 125 mile wide path of totality will have the privilege of witnessing the unforgettable sight of a total eclipse. This rare celestial alignment is expected to draw millions of eclipse enthusiasts to prime viewing locations along the path, with cities, towns, and remote areas bracing for an influx of visitors eager to immerse themselves in the moon's shadow. As excitement builds for this once-in-a-lifetime event, officials across the nation are diligently preparing to manage the challenges that come with such a significant surge in interest and travel. Warnings and Advisories Surrounding the 2024 Eclipse The Great North American Eclipse of 2024 is not only a source of wonder and excitement, but also a cause for concern among officials and local authorities. With millions of people expected to flock to the path of totality, Spanning from coast to coast, the potential strain on infrastructure, resources, and public safety is unprecedented. To mitigate risks and ensure a smooth experience for both residents and visitors, a series of urgent warnings and advisories have been issued across the affected states. One of the most pressing concerns is the anticipated traffic congestion, as eclipse chasers descend upon the narrow path of totality, roads and highways are likely to become severely overwhelmed. 
This is particularly worrisome in rural areas where infrastructure is often limited and two-lane highways are the norm. The sudden influx of vehicles could quickly lead to gridlock, making it difficult for emergency vehicles to navigate the congested roadways and respond to emergencies efficiently. To alleviate these risks, state and local authorities are strongly urging residents and visitors to plan ahead. They recommend stocking up on essential supplies like food, water, fuel, and medications in the days leading up to the eclipse. By doing so, individuals can reduce the need for last-minute trips and help prevent shortages at local stores, which may not be equipped to handle the abrupt surge in demand. Officials in Lorain County, Ohio, have warned that the increased pressure on local resources could lead to a depletion of food and fuel supplies. In addition to traffic-related concerns, the strain on emergency services and healthcare facilities is another significant worry. Large crowds inherently bring a higher risk of accidents, injuries, and medical emergencies. Rural hospitals and clinics, which often operate with limited resources and staff, may find themselves overwhelmed. To address this issue, some areas are proactively deploying additional medical personnel and resources to strategic locations along the path of totality, ensuring that they are better prepared to handle any emergencies that may arise. Communication is another critical aspect that officials are addressing. With thousands of people attempting to share their Eclipse experience through phone calls, texts, and social media posts simultaneously, cell towers may become overloaded. This not only poses an inconvenience for visitors trying to stay connected with loved ones, but also raises concerns about the ability to contact emergency services if needed. Mobile service providers, such as T-Mobile, are taking proactive measures to minimize disruptions and ensure reliable connectivity. These efforts include deploying additional cell sites and conducting real-time network monitoring to identify and address any issues promptly. The strain on local resources has led some officials to take extraordinary measures. In Texas, Kerr County Judge Rob Kelly issued a disaster declaration on March 4th expressing concerns that the influx of visitors could drain food and fuel supplies and strain city and county infrastructure beyond capacity. This declaration enables the county to access additional resources and funding to better manage the challenges associated with the eclipse and ensure the safety and well-being of both residents and visitors. Schools within the path of totality are also faced with a difficult decision. Remain open or close for the day. While the eclipse presents an incredible educational opportunity, student safety and logistical concerns must be taken into account. Many districts have chosen to close for the day, citing potential traffic gridlock and the risk of students damaging their eyes by viewing the eclipse improperly. By closing schools, officials aim to reduce the burden on local infrastructure and ensure that students can safely enjoy the eclipse with their families. Even pet owners are being called upon to take precautions during the eclipse. The sudden darkness may cause animals to exhibit unusual behavior, such as increased anxiety or confusion. Experts advise keeping pets indoors during the eclipse and providing them with a safe, comfortable space to retreat to if needed. Pet owners should also ensure they have an adequate supply of food and any necessary medications on hand, as traffic congestion and crowding may make it difficult to reach stores in the days surrounding the event. As April 8th approaches, officials are working tirelessly to prepare their communities for the unique challenges that the Great North American Eclipse will bring. By issuing warnings and advisories, they aim to promote a safe and enjoyable experience for all those who wish to witness this awe-inspiring celestial event. Through careful planning, coordination, and communication, authorities hope to minimize disruptions, 
and ensure that the eclipse remains a cherished memory for years to come. So as you prepare for the Great North American Eclipse of 2024, take heed of the warnings and advisories issued by officials. Plan ahead, stock up on essentials, and be patient with the inevitable challenges that come with an event of this magnitude. Remember, the eclipse may be fleeting, but the memories will last a lifetime. While the 2024 eclipse may share some similarities with the 2017 total solar eclipse that captivated the nation, there are notable differences between the two events. These distinctions make the upcoming eclipse an even more remarkable and highly anticipated occurrence. The Great North American Eclipse of 2024 versus the Great American Eclipse of 2017. While the Great North American Eclipse of 2024 and the Great American Eclipse of 2017 share the distinction of being total solar eclipses visible from the United States, there are several key differences that set the upcoming event apart from its predecessor. These differences make the 2024 eclipse an even more extraordinary and highly anticipated occurrence for astronomers, eclipse chasers, and casual observers alike. One of the most significant differences between the two eclipses is the timing in relation to the solar cycle. The sun undergoes an 11-year cycle of activity, with periods of solar minimum and solar maximum. During the 2017 eclipse, the sun was nearing its solar minimum, characterized by fewer solar flares and coronal mass ejections. As a result, while viewers were treated to a breathtaking view of the sun's corona, the star's activity was relatively quiet, with streamers of light restricted to the equatorial regions. In contrast, the 2024 eclipse will occur when the sun is near its solar maximum, a period of heightened activity. During this time, the sun's magnetic field is more complex and turbulent, likened to a tangled hairball. This increased activity means that streamers will likely be visible throughout the corona, making it appear even brighter and more spectacular than during the 2017 eclipse. Additionally, viewers will have a better chance of witnessing prominences, bright pink curls or loops of plasma emanating from the sun's surface. If fortune favors eclipse watchers, there may even be an opportunity to observe a coronal mass ejection, a massive burst of solar material, during the eclipse. Another significant difference between the two eclipses is the apparent size of the moon. The moon's orbit around Earth is not perfectly circular, which means its distance from our planet varies over time. During the 2017 eclipse, the moon was slightly farther away from Earth than it will be during the 2024 event. This proximity will cause the moon to appear 5.5% larger than average, resulting in a longer duration of totality. In 2017, the longest period of totality, when the moon completely obscured the sun, lasted for 2 minutes and 42 seconds near Carbondale, Illinois. However, during the 2024 eclipse, totality will last up to an astounding 4 minutes and 28 seconds near the Mexican town of Nazas, Durango, and the nearby city of Torreon, Coahuila. Even as the eclipse moves across the United States and into Canada, many locations will experience totality lasting well over three minutes, with some areas enjoying more than four minutes of daytime darkness. This extended period of totality will provide sky watchers with a more immersive experience and additional time to appreciate the awe-inspiring celestial event. The path of totality is another aspect that distinguishes the 2024 eclipse from its 2017 counterpart. The 2017 eclipse path ranged from about 62 to 71 miles wide, while the 2024 eclipse path will be significantly wider, spanning between 108 and 122 miles. 
This increased width means that a larger swath of the continent will fall within the path of totality, making it accessible to a greater number of people. In 2017, an estimated 12 million Americans lived within the path of totality, with an additional 150 million people residing within 200 miles of the path. For the 2024 eclipse, however, an estimated 31.6 million people already live within the path of totality, not accounting for the countless visitors expected to travel to prime viewing locations. The eclipse's path will pass through 13 U.S. states, including major cities like Dallas, Texas, and Cleveland, Ohio, as well as hundreds of smaller towns and communities. This increased accessibility means that more people will have the opportunity to experience the unparalleled beauty and wonder of a total solar eclipse without having to travel far from home. The 2024 eclipse also differs from the 2017 event in terms of the regions it will traverse. While both eclipses crossed the United States from coast to coast, the 2024 path of totality will begin in Mexico, pass through the central United States, and end in Canada's maritime provinces. This trajectory will offer a unique opportunity for international cooperation and celebration as three nations come together to witness this rare celestial event. Furthermore, the 2024 eclipse path will intersect with that of the 2017 eclipse in southern Illinois near the city of Carbondale. This intersection, dubbed the Eclipse Crossroads, will create a roughly 9,000 square mile area where observers will have the incredible opportunity to experience two total solar eclipses within a span of just seven years. Cities like Carbondale, Illinois, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and Paducah, Kentucky will find themselves at the heart of this celestial coincidence, drawing astronomy enthusiasts from around the world. Scientific research and public engagement will also set the 2024 eclipse apart from its predecessor. In the years since the 2017 eclipse, advancements in technology and the launch of new solar-observing spacecraft, such as NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter, have provided scientists with unprecedented insights into the sun's behavior and structure. These missions will complement ground-based observations during the 2024 eclipse, allowing researchers to compare and contrast data from multiple vantage points. Additionally, the 2017 eclipse served as a catalyst for increased public interest in astronomy and science education. Building upon this momentum, organizations and educational institutions are planning extensive outreach programs, workshops, and events leading up to the 2024 eclipse. These initiatives aim to engage students, educators, and the general public in the excitement of scientific discovery and inspire the next generation of scientists and eclipse chasers. As the great North American eclipse of 2024 approaches, anticipation continues to build. The unique combination of factors, the sun's heightened activity, the moon's increased apparent size, the extended duration of totality, and the wider, more accessible path, make this eclipse an unmissable event for millions of people across North America. With the lessons learned from the 2017 eclipse and the advancements made in the intervening years, the 2024 eclipse promises to be an even more spectacular and meaningful experience for all those fortunate enough to witness it. While the Great North American Eclipse of 2024 and the Great American Eclipse of 2017 are both incredible celestial events, the differences in timing, duration, path, and scientific context make the upcoming eclipse truly extraordinary. 
As we prepare to once again stand in the moon's shadow and marvel at the sun's ethereal corona, it is clear that the great North American eclipse of 2024 will be an event remembered for generations to come. Up next, we will go over some of the basics of solar eclipses, exploring what causes these awe-inspiring phenomena and the different types of eclipses that grace our skies. Science, history, and fascinating facts of solar eclipses. Solar eclipses have captivated humans for centuries, inspiring a mix of awe, fear, and curiosity. These celestial events, as we've already laid out, occur when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, casting its shadow on our planet. The alignment of these three bodies creates a breathtaking spectacle that has left an indelible mark on our history and continues to drive scientific discovery. The science behind solar eclipses is a fascinating interplay of orbital mechanics and cosmic coincidence. For a solar eclipse to occur, the moon must be in its new phase, positioned directly between the Earth and the Sun. However, due to the moon's tilted orbit, solar eclipses do not happen every month. Instead, they occur during eclipse seasons, which happen approximately every six months when the moon's orbit intersects the Earth's orbital plane around the Sun. The type of solar eclipse we experience depends on the alignment of the Sun, Moon, and Earth. Total solar eclipses occur when the moon completely obscures the sun's disk, casting its umbral shadow on Earth. Annular eclipses happen when the moon is at its farthest point from Earth, making it appear smaller and unable to fully cover the sun, resulting in a ring of fire. Partial eclipses occur when the alignment is imperfect and the moon only partially blocks the sun. One of the most incredible aspects of total solar eclipses is the seemingly perfect fit of the moon's apparent size to that of the sun. This cosmic coincidence allows the moon to completely cover the sun's disk, revealing the sun's ethereal corona. However, this is a temporary phenomenon. As the moon slowly spirals away from Earth, Total solar eclipses will become increasingly rare, eventually disappearing entirely in about 600 million years.